Welcome back. We've heard the stories. We've seen the pictures of those struggling to flee Afghanistan as the Taliban takes over. And we've also heard of this, the heroic efforts of veterans trying to help interpreters and Afghan soldiers who stood alongside them in America's longest war try to get out of the war-torn country. Joining us now is Randy Schnell, a major in the U.S. Army Reserves who was deployed to Afghanistan twice and is one of those currently working to get his Afghan interpreter and his interpreter's wife out. Tell me about that story. Where are you in that process? And have you heard of other similar stories like yours? Yes, well, good morning. Um, I do appreciate you giving me the opportunity to to tell my interpreter story. Um, so we've been working this for about a month since uh, July uh, when he reached out to me um, asking for help. And I began the process with the the uh, the, the CIV uh, packet. And then um, as we got that through, um, obviously the, the situation around him was uh, changing quickly. Um, he is still in Kabul with his pregnant wife. Uh, we were unfortunate in um, in our efforts. However, we did uh, were successful in getting out a family of five. Uh, that was a, a human rights director and and his wife and kids. And then um, I was able to link up uh, other groups as well, based off of the the network that uh, I, I found myself a part of by accident, to be honest. I want to go back to your interpreter. You can't get your interpreter and his pregnant wife out. Is that correct? That is correct. We had a couple of attempts um, that we had put together, uh, both uh, Thursday our time and Friday, but due to the ISIS threat and then the bombings, uh, both of those attempts were waved off. Um, and, and at this point, uh, with the uh, operations winding down, um, it's just uh, it's not safe uh, for him and his wife to try to make an attempt at the airport. To be specific, why is it not working? Why can't you get them out? I know that there's a threat there, but is there a physical barrier, if you will, that is not allowing them to get to the airport? Are they being told that they can't come to the airport, or did their SI, do, do they have their uh, their sieve? Well. Right now, it's it's the way we've been operating is is there's actual groups going out there and picking up um, Afghans um, and bringing them back to the airport. Um, unfortunately, because the the deadline is is approaching, um, those assets are unable to to get to my interpreter. Um, and also, too, I mean, I'm just my interpreter is one of of many. Um, there's I would say hundreds, if not thousands, that are still trying to get out. And let's not forget, too, the Americans that are still there, too, uh, that are trapped. So in terms of barriers, yes, there there is barriers. There's the Taliban that still have the ring around the airport. You have ISIS lurking in the streets. It's very hard for someone that's nine months pregnant to be navigating through the streets to get to the airport on their own. So then what's next for them? They, are, you, are you telling them to shelter in place or to find other means? For right now, I, I don't want to give uh, too much away. Um, I can tell you this. Sure. The veteran groups that I am working with, um, the people that, that are the real heroes, the ones that are doing the, the planning, coordinating with the, the, true, the, the people that are over there in Kabul with both the U.S. government and other NGOs, um, planning is still going on. Uh, the, we are not giving up hope. Uh, we will uh, do everything we can to get these people out. Um, I just can't give any more details at this time because of um, I understand. the sensitivity. I understand. So August 31st is the deadline to, to, to get out for, for the military evacuation. That's the end of the mission for them. Is that the end yes. of the road for your interpreter? No. No, we're not, we're not giving up. Uh, like I said, we... The, the, the network that we're a part of is continuing to figure out ways to get these people out even after the, the, uh, the deadline. I want to play this for you. Um, it may hit home with you. This is in a, in a broad sense. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said this about the transfer of Afghans wanting to leave and trusting the Taliban. Here's that. You may have seen that uh, just yesterday a very senior Taliban official went on television and radio across the country and repeatedly assured people in Afghanistan that they would have the freedom to travel after August 31st. He even specifically said uh, those who work for the Americans uh, and uh, those who want to leave for whatever reason will have that freedom. Now, of course, we don't take the Taliban at their word. We take them uh, by their deed. So 
he says you can you can move about. That would include your interpreter and his pregnant wife can move about off after August 31st because the Taliban said so. Oh, but by the way, we don't trust what the Taliban says. What do you make of that, sir? That's 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 a confusing message that that uh, I, I'm still confused because how can you trust the Taliban? Um, if if the Taliban were trustworthy. Um, we wouldn't have this this crisis going on right now. My interpreter would already have been to the airport. He'd already be at a processing center in Qatar or Germany or wherever um, we are sending the, the Afghan refugees. Um, the biggest fear that I have right now, um, and it's, you know, my interpreter's fear is his wife. Um, the Taliban do not have a great track record at all of, um, you know, women's rights or just basically, you know, just humans in general. Yeah, a sensitive topic for sure. Uh, we continue to watch the military withdrawal effort, but also noting these stories uh, of the interpreters and, and other allies that are unable to get out and not going to be able to get out by August 31st, and it seems to be acknowledged uh, by U.S. officials. Um, we hope that rescue efforts will continue to be made. I know that your group is continuing, as you said, on this program, and I appreciate you sharing those details. That is Major Randy Schnell. Thank you, sir. We appreciate your time. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.